Hi guys, welcome back to another footwork training at Northwest Fencing Center. For today's training, we are going to focus on the extent and the timing of that extent. I will use for the training today glove, weapon, mask, and target. If you do not have a target available, you can simply visualize the hit when it happens. We will start immediately with the footwork. The first 30 seconds of uh, the warm up, sorry. The first 30 seconds of the warm up are going to be a simple jog. So let's get in place. Try to loosen your shoulders and let's begin. I'm going to jog in place for 30 seconds. Very classic warm up, but very efficient. And as I jog for these 30 seconds, I'm going to focus on one, relaxing the shoulders. Two, working my breathing nice and slow. And three, keeping the landing of each step nice and light. And I'm going to relax and shake the legs. I will relax for 15 seconds and I will go for another 30 seconds of jog. Make sure you loosen everything. Okay, get ready and let's go. All right, nice and loose. Still aware of your breathing, loosening the shoulders, you conscient of it every step of the way and light on that landing, very little noise, mostly on the toes, five more seconds and I relax. For the next part of the warm up, I will start in front of my glove that I set up on the ground and about two meters away, I set up my mask. I'm going to use these two spots to travel from one to another. I will jog and every five seconds work sidestep to reach the next spot. Jog again and five seconds later, sidesteps to reach a spot. As I work my sidesteps, Feet are apart, legs are slightly flexed, and light on the toes on the movement. So get in place. Again, we jog five seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. And back to jog. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, Three, four, 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 five. And I relax. On my next Series, I will work something similar, traveling every five seconds to the next spot. I will now travel working knees up every five seconds. Keep loosening. We get 10 more seconds of rest. Five seconds. And let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, up, knees up, and again, relax, two, three, four, five, knees up, and relax, one, two, three, four, five, knees up, one, two, three, four, five, Four more, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and five. And I relax and I shake it out. All right, for my next series, I will try to bring my two targets real closer. 
about one meter apart from each other. And now we'll jog and every five seconds do a side jump with one leg leading and pushing off the second leg. All right, we start in 10 seconds. Keep loosening between series. Couple seconds, let's go. One, two, three, four, and jump. One, two, three, four, and jump. One, two, three, four, 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 jump, and relax. And I will go back to two meters, do each set one more time. I could increase the intensity a little bit on this second round. We start in 10 seconds with the side steps. Five seconds. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, and I move. One, two, three, four, I flex. I side step. One, two, three, four, and the side steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And relax. I will go back on the next one to knees. Up as I step to the side. We start in 15 seconds. Keep relaxing your shoulders and neck and focusing on your breathing. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, and up to the side. One, two, three, four, to the side. One, two, three, four, to the side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and now relax. 15 second break, and I will work my jump. I can make the distance maybe slightly bigger, maybe a meter and a half. And let's begin. One, two, three, four, and jump. One, two, three, four, and jump. One, two, three, four, and jump. One, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, four, jump. One more. One, two, three, four, jump, and relax. And shake it out. All right, warm up the shoulders as we breathe a little bit, working about 10 rotations one way, nice and wide, not too fast for now. And then 10 rotations the other way, making sure I get a wide range of motion without forcing too much the shoulders. Deep breath as you do it and relax. All right. To the shoulders again. I will now work cross and 
and open. All right, cross right arm under, left arm under, and open. About 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now relax and ten up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I loosen. And my next stretch, I will start in TP position. Stretch toward my lunge. From this TP position, I will rotate one of my foot so the toes are pointing toward the ceiling. And I will flex down on the foot that stayed flat. Just a little bit. One, back to straighten my leg. Two, back to straight. Three. Four and five. I don't go too far, just enough to feel a little stretch. Back to the center, both feet flat. I go now with the other foot pointing the, to the ceiling and flex on the flat foot. One, straight legs. Two, straight legs. Three, straight legs. Four, five. And back to the center and relax. I will now work some flex and balance. I will start with my left foot on the ground, cross my right leg in front, so both legs are straight for now, and bring my right leg behind as bending the left knee. So my right knee should be at the level of my calf, right here. All right, we go for five, one, Cross in front, two, cross behind, in front, behind, three, in front, behind, four, in front, behind, five. If I can, I bring that knee on the calf and relax and switch leg. Right foot is now on the ground, left leg is in front and goes behind. One, two, three. Four, five, and I relax. Good warm up for knees and ankle stabilizer, and a little bit of squat, but not much. All right, I go back to my lunges. So back to TP position. Both feet are flat. One foot points up, and I go down. One. Two, three, four, five, back to the center, nice and slow. Other foot goes up. One, two, three, four, five, back to the center, relax slowly. And I will work now. Five squats, so both feet about shoulder wide, feet on the same line, and I'm going to squat, bringing the hip back. One, two, three, four, five, and again five. Feet stay in line, parallel. One, two, three, four, five. Note that when I squat, my knees do not come to the center. They stay in line with the feet and relax. I will finish this warm up with a few regular lunges, working nice and slow, on guard position, extend and lunge. Get a feel for it. Try to recover in one motion. Work my lunge a little bigger. And hold that position. Breathe. Allow the muscles to stretch. Third lunge. Fourth 
lunge. And one more. And relax. All right. So, glove and weapon. If you have a target, you may use the target. In that situation, I would like you to use a mask. Main reason is when I hit the target, blade is under pressure and might break. If the blade breaks, nobody can predict where it flies. So you should wear the mask and nobody not wearing a mask should be in close proximity of that target. If you do not have the target available, you can simply work the same coordination I'm doing and extend in the air, visualize the hit. We will focus first on an extend prior to the motion. I will start with advance. I'm going to set myself close enough from the target so I can extend and hit while advancing. So I extend fully, then move, and the motion deliver the hit. On my recover, I will focus on leaving the target, then recover the arm. I go for a series of 10, extend, advance, recover, out. One, extend, advance, recover, out. Two, extend, advance, recover, out. Three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I loosen. Note that my arm was fully extended and the motion made the hit happen on the target. I meet the target while my front foot is still up and moving forward. I will do 10 more repetition on this one. If you have the target, keep working on the target. If you did not have the target, it's not a problem. You simply work. Extend, advance, and recover the arm. One. Two, late recover the arm. Early extend, late recover. Three, early extend, late recover. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and I lose seven. Make sure you focus on the timing of everything working together. Development of the extent followed by movement of the legs. Nice and controlled. Similar coordination for the next repetitions, working now with my lunge. So we set myself in lunge distance from my target and work, extend and push and the lunge bring the hit. I recover with my arm recovering as the front foot and land. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Now you relax. Quick note for you relax on the recover from my lunge. My blade is completely off the target when I recover the arm. Again, second series of 10. I will demonstrate it without the target. Doesn't make a big, big difference. So 10 lunges, working X10, 10, 10 lunge. One, late recover. Two, late recover. Three, late recover. Four, late recover. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax, and loosen. For my second round of drills, I'm going to mix the coordination a little bit, starting with the advance, and I will now extend with my back foot. So the back foot is going to trigger the extent. From advanced distance on my target, I will start the advance and release the extend with my back foot. Again, advance start and extend late in the motion. Let's go for 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and I relax. One thing I forgot to mention was to, on this series, recover the arm. As my back foot is pulling, I'm on the target. As my back foot pulls, I bring the arm back. Same series from the advance. I do it without the target this time. Extend on the back foot. So I start my advance, I push and extend and recover with the back leg. One, start, commit, pull. Two, start, commit, pull. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And especially if you hit with the target, you should make sure that the hit happened just before his back foot lands on the ground. The idea, again, is to have this extend in time with the back leg motion. So moving to the lunge now, how we evolve that to the lunge, I will again coordinate my extend with the back leg action. In the lunge, the back leg action is the push. So I will simply, at the same time, push and extend to reach the target. I go for 10 repetition, Flex and I push and extend together. One. And reset my distance if I need to. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Together, arm push. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now relax.
max. I will do 10 more repetitions, demonstrating now without the target. Making sure the extend and the push of the back leg happen together. So nice and flex. Let's go together one. And I recover. Together two. I recover. Together three. Four. Now is a good time to have a water break. So if you have water, go ahead. Grab a quick drink. On the next series, I will now time this extend, that decision of commitment, in a short sequence of footwork. I'm going to start very, very simple. Two advances is going to be my, my sequence of footwork. So two advances, okay, pushing off the back leg, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot. My X10 is going to happen on the back foot of the first advance. So I start my first advance by pushing, X10 and the second advance, just bring the X10 Father, but the timing of the extent is with the back leg of that first advance. And the second advance is immediately connected behind. There is no pause in, in the movement. So get your weapon and glove back. If you have the target in front of you, Put your mask back on. Set your distance a little further now as you will work one, two steps toward the target. So you have to account for that. And we begin 10 repetitions. First advance, extend on the back leg, second advance delivers. One. I will recover from there my arm on the front foot of the first retreat. Extend back foot, recover front foot. Three, back foot and push. Four, back foot and push. Five, back foot and push. Six, back foot and push. Seven, back foot and push. Eight, back foot and push. Nine, back foot and push. Ten, and I loosen. As you can guess, we will do a second set with these two advances, with the extent happening on the back foot of the first advance and the arm recover on the front foot of the first retreat. So let's get flex, nice on guard, chest is up, elbows on tuck. Let's go on the back foot, extend, then push. One, recover on the front foot. Two, three, Focus on that recover, back front, four, back foot, front foot, five, back foot, front foot, six, back foot, 
responsible for the server. Eight. Nine. Ten. When I work with that target, I still visualize a specific spot I aim toward. I have a spot on my dummy right here. When I work without hitting the actual target, I still try to extend exactly toward that spot. And I visualize my blade actually hitting that spot. All right. Similar coordination now with the lunge. So I work advance lunge and I will extend on the back foot of the advance. If you have worked prior class with the change of rhythm, you, you know and you should be able to also have a slight acceleration as you snap this back foot and extend just prior to pushing off for the lunge. If you do not, if you did not work on the chain of rhythm, for now you will focus on the coordination and the timing of the extent. So in advanced lunge distance, advance back foot extend, then lunge, and I will recover again on the front foot of my recover. From our recover on the front foot. So, up, extend, push, from our reset. Two, extend, push, recover, three, extend, push. Note that my arm was fully extended as I lunge and remain fully extended when I hit the target. The blade gives up. My arm, my extend does not. Extend, hold the extend. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, recover, relax. Be ready for a second set of 10 repetition. With or without the target, doesn't make a difference. As long as we focus on this decision, this commitment of the tip and the arm. So again, advanced lunge, committing on the back foot of the advance, front, commit, lunge, one. Front, commit, lunge, two. Quick side note on the advance, make sure the back foot comes back far enough to push. If I do not bring my back foot close enough, the leg is not going to be as flex, the push is not going to be as efficient. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and I relax. Shake it out. All right, I have two situations left. For the last two situations, I will ask you to do your extra work of 
visualizing first situation is going to be a counter time so counter time so we agree on it I will try to set up a timing like maybe a change of pace to the sharp stop to trigger my opponent commitment whether it's an attack on preparation or counter attack doesn't make a big difference the goal is to trigger their attack to then be able to parry repost and get the point from triggering them to do what you want it's a second intention so I will work two advances a little more speed on the second one to really invite and from there standing in place so one two I will work four straight again change of rhythm one two four straight or one two six straight at that point you visualize can be one or the other I recommend you to work with the one you're the most comfortable with for now the most important thing is the timing so let's do it together I will finish my two steps one two then work four straight and hit that target the four straight happens after the movement because I depend on the opponent's commitment I cannot parry before they attack me so let's begin 10 reps one two three four one one two three four two one two three four chain of rhythm parry four repost again chain of rhythm parry four repost Six first. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now relax. I will do my next ten repetitions with a target. I will also use a little variation of the same idea working advance small jump instead of double advance again the goal is the same I trigger the attack to then pair a repost so working advance small jump pair a repost one I will also do six to demonstrate one two three four and reset. Advance jump six repost. Three. Advance jump six repost. Four. Advance jump six repost. Five. Advance jump six repost. Six. Advance jump six repost. Seven. Advance jump six repost. Eight. Advanced jump, six repost, nine, advanced jump, six repost, ten, and relax. All right, working now with the lunge. So visualize the following action, similar basic idea where I give my opponent a timing to start. We are now at a slightly bigger distance. Instead of counter time, I'm going to attack on their preparation. Likely, if I do it from further, they will start moving forward first. And from there, I'm going to work my full straight in the lunge so it becomes more 
an attack on preparation. I can also visualize it maybe with six, especially for AP fencers. I will draw the opponent preparation and do six opposition on their forward motion. So let's go for 10 repetition. I will start with my first straight. So for your more foil, but also valid for AP. So one, two, four, three. I forgot to be clear about is now the beat is out in my lunge. It's a beat, it's not a parry anymore. And I jump on the timing so everything goes at once. Give the timing, attack. Six. Give the timing, attack. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and I recover and relax. I will work my next ten repetition with the six in the lunge. I visualize now a six opposition, and because I really want to catch that timing. I'll make sure that I extend and take six together. It goes forward with a small tip. The commitment is as important, if not more important, than finding the blade on the way. I want to catch the timing and hit quickly on my opponent's forward motion. So let's go. We'll use the alternate provoke with advanced small jump. Six opposition. Advanced small jump. Six opposition. Two. Advanced small jump. Six. Three. Advanced small jump. Six opposition. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. All right, one more set, one more situation, I should say. My final situation is going to focus on counter attack. I'm going to counter attack getting away at shorter distance and then counter attack blasting in at bigger distance. For my setup this time, I will work advance and check with that front foot. The check on the front foot is going to allow me to have a little more distance, be able to reach real further, while still being able to push and get away from the incoming threat. My hit is going to happen as this front foot is on the ground while I have the distance. So I set up, advance, check, hit, get out. And I'm going to keep my extend until I'm done moving out. So again, advance, check, hit, get out. Two. 
advance, check, hit, get up, three, advance, check, hit, get up, four, Check, hit, get up, five. Advance, check, hit, get out, six. Seven. Check, hit, get away. Eight. Nine. Ten, relax. If you did not have a target with you, the focus would be on advanced check, foot extend, then get away. You can get away from the moment your extend is complete, not before. When hitting the target, you can get away from the moment you have the hit, not before. All right, I will do a second set of 10. If you have your target with you, keep using it. So again, advance, check, extend, get away, one. Advance, check, front leg is flexed, extend, get away, two. Three. Four. Not that I keep the extend until I'm done. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Now relax. All right, working now with the lunge. So obviously, working with the lunge, I will not hit, then get away. Would not be very pertinent. The idea here is going to just catch the timing with the counter attack. So you go against your opponent commitment. In four, you go against your opponent right of way. And the idea is that the timing of your blast is going to be sufficient to hit a single light. You may add a close out with that commitment, but for now, I would like for most of you to focus on that timing and decision. I will work the same preparation, advance, check, and from there just simply commit with everything I got. And I turn off the brain on that commitment. All that matters at that moment is to just go in, surprise the opponent, be faster than the opponent. So let's go, 10 reps. Advance, check, commit, one. Advance, check, arm is relaxed, commit, arm is strong, two. Check, three. Do not extend, happening with the back foot push. Check, push, four. Advance, check, push. Five, advance, check, push, six, advance, check, push, seven, check, push, eight, advance, check, push, nine, Ten and recover. All right, we'll have one more set of ten on the same coordination. 
counterattack on my opponent forward motion working off a check with the front foot and you can add the close of the line if you're comfortable with it on this line closing maybe four position or grabbing six on the way fine if you still focus on the six ten happening as you push advance check push one advance check push two advance check back leg is still flex push three Check. Four. Advance. Check. Five. Five more reps. Advance. Check. Six. Advance. Check. Seven. Advance. Check. Eight. Nine. Advance. Check. Ten. And recover. And relax. All right. This concludes today's work. Keep in mind that the most important thing today was when the extend is happening and how I need to be very clear in my head, very sharp in my motion on the timing of my extent. If you find some difficulties with the coordination, I will link on the screen a coordination video that you can go back to and do some work on that. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, check the other full work playlist we have, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.